Okay, I thought we'd uh, take an opportunity here and get the seat uh, parts around. Basically, the H5 uses a seat back, which is adjustable. Uh, you, can, you can build it fixed if you want, just build it for you, that's fine. But the plans will show some adjustment uh, uh, things that we can do, and we'll, we'll show you how those work. Uh, but basically, it, it, it consists of a seat frame, the, the main bow, uh, the skin. Now, we've already had this kind of out and pre-drilled. What your kit will show, what your kit will have, will have the bow. You'll trim it to fit. This will be pre-bent for you, but won't have the holes in it. Uh, so basically, we've laid this in here. We've uh, clicked this frame all together. And the other components is there's a vertical piece that goes down the center of the, uh, of the seat back as a stiffener. There's a bottom angle, a bottom piece of square tubing that goes on for the bottom. There's uh, the intermediate cross-section pieces that go in the middle there. And then there's this back panel that goes on. And that's what stiffens the whole framework together. And then, of course, the hinge, which is, a, which is one of the adjustment features that we have if you choose to put that on. Uh, I'm sorry, it actually goes on the, on the front side underneath. And the way we make this adjustable is we put the mating part of the hinge onto the seat pan on the bottom of the airplane. And you can install multiple, multiple selections of this, an inch apart, inch and a half, whatever you want, to be able to adjust the, the, the bottom of the seat back. And then the, the uh, support or the cross support, again, that can be fixed. If you set it in there, get it fixed where you want it, uh, you can take a piece of, again, of this half inch square tubing, put it across from side rail to side rail, put a couple corner gusses in like we did on the Ultra Cruiser, which is an ultra light airplane, uh, and make it fixed. But on the H5, your plans will show uh, an adjustable pivot. Adjustable backstop for the for the backrest. Uh, these angles get uh, riveted, flush riveted under the side rails, so you've got the the holes in the center here. It's just made, basically made from two pieces of tubing, three quarter and five eighths. That size wise, they slide together uh, real easily. There's a five eighths dive spring that goes in to allow the compression. We've already I've already riveted the uh, rod in bushings, that's what we call them, rod in bushings. In this case, they're just uh, bushings that we put in the ends. And then the plans will tell you to take two AN7 bolts, cut them off, and uh, cut them off to, and then just grind like a bullet shape on the tip. Uh, you can Loctite these in, it's probably a good idea on each end, to bottom the threads all the way out on the bottom. And then that makes it adjustable by squeezing it, you know, it, it compresses and snaps together into these holes on each side of the side rail. So we'll, uh, we'll finish clicking uh, this all together and then uh, we'll show how it's installed. Uh, if you want to go over the components for the spar cover and the seat pan, bottom of the seat if you will, and how they go together. Uh, the first component is the, is the spar cover, main spar cover. This is pretty much how it's going to come to you with the exception of these two holes for the clearance holes for the stick bolts, the stick mounting bolts. Um, it should be pre-bent and formed. You may have to tweak these edges just a little bit to get it to fit nicely in your fuselage. Again, depending on tolerances of holes and rivet holes, that may be a little different. So that's the first part that goes in and then this little attached strip goes in the bottom. This attached strip gets rivet to, riveted to the bottom of the fuselage. And then we're gonna choose, you can use sheet metal screws. I like to use uh, nut plates. I just think they last a lot longer. Sheet metal screws that tend to vibrate and get loose and you end up putting nut plates in down the road anyway. So along the edges and down through the spar, we're just gonna drill and tap uh, the spar carry through support so that uh, we'll put eight. Uh, I'm just gonna put 632 screws in. You can use 832s. Uh, your kit will come with the 632 stuff. Uh, and then there'll also be nut plates across the back of this so that the spar cover uh, nut plates. Obviously, we want to make this removable so we can inspect the, the stick assembly and control connections and stuff. So this part goes in. Uh, we've got this all pre-drilled. We've already installed this and taken it back out or clicked it. So you can see how this goes together under, 
underneath. Uh, it's going to set in all these holes. That'll go together. Um, the next component is this hat channel looking part that's the, that's the support for the, for the seat. Um, it's going to go, it's going to overlap the, the tabs on here. I'm just going to lay stuff in here now, then I'll get a click out and we'll go over it again real quick. Um, that's to support the bottom of the seat pan. Uh, you'll notice that that's the same rivet line as the, as the bottom stringers the bottom angles on the bottom of the fuselage. So if you've got those rivets already in there like we did, we had to drill them back out and uh, uh, put them back in. We, we've made notes on the plan so you'll know not to put those in. Uh, then this support goes over the top. And this, these three holes, these three line of holes, um, you don't have to do this. I like to make these, make these seat backs adjustable. So we're gonna, we're gonna install three uh, hinge pieces of hinge along here that will mate up with the hinge on the bottom of the seat back, okay? So that makes it adjustable. So we'll be able to move the bottom of the seat for the length of your legs. And then of course we've covered before the, the seat back support. So that, that adjusts the seat back this way. So if you want, you can make this all fixed. You don't have to make it adjustable. Uh, again, it's a home built. You can make it fit yourself. If you've got a buddy that's long legged, you can make it fit him and then fit you. Uh, you know, however that works out. But we'll go ahead and get this click in place and show you what it looks like, and, and uh, then we'll go. Okay, to we'll show you some of this uh, sub assembly work going in here. Uh, we're going to leave the front the, the spar cover off for now. You can see that we have riveted everything. This this uh, attached strip is riveted in place, except you got to. Along the, uh, the uh, bottom rail line, you got to leave that out because this plate, of course, goes over the top of it. So, so we riveted everything but these two rivets. We got this Clico in from the bottom up. You can see just the heads of the Clicos there. Um, so that's Clico in place. That can be riveted. Uh, this gets Clico in next, of course. We'll put a few Clicos in here just to give you the idea. This, of course, will all get riveted. And then, as I mentioned before, these uh, the seat adjustment strips, now they're going to go, this one is outside of that, of that stiffener, but the center, the center six or so rivets all go through the, the hat channel and the, and of course, we just continue that on with, with these here. Um, so we'll go ahead and rivet that. Uh, one thing I want to point out is this has all been pre-drilled with, with a, a, an eighth inch drill that we can click all together. Um, for the nut plates, it takes a 136 thousandths drill, which is a number 29 for the pilot. If you've got a nut plate tool, it, uh, they work great. If you don't have one, spend a few bucks for it. But so we've got the location hole for all the nut plates. We'll drill those out now to a number 29 where the nut plates are going to go down here in the skin. Uh, you put this hole through the, through the number 29 hole, uh, drill, a rip, drill the 332nd hole for the nut plate rivet, flip it over, it's, you see it's got a second stud, that, that sets the spacing for the other rivet. Um, they're really worth their weight in gold. Everything comes right on the money, you don't have to worry about uh, adjusting or fudging holes or sheet metal will be in the way when you when you assemble it. Um, by coincidence, that's also these are 632 uh, screws, uh, nut plates that go around here. Then it's 832 up through the the uh, spar cap, or the, I'm sorry, the the, the carry through support with a stick mount bracket goes on here. A number 29 drill is also the tap drill for an 832 screw. So basically, all these holes where everything's going to mount will get drilled out to a, a number 29 drill. Nut plates get drilled out for nut plates. We're gonna tap these holes for, for 832 screws. And uh, that'll be the next step.